So this is a basic sparring setup. I have this for Krav Maga, shin guards, headgear. These are gel knuckle wraps by Venom. You just slide your hand through and then wrap it as you would normally do with basic wraps. The gel is quite excellent. If you are doing long sparring sessions or practicing on a heavy bag or anything like that, these are going to keep your knuckles from scarring up and bleeding and things like that way better than just normal wraps. Um, they're pretty good too. And then I have the Venom MMA style glove. It's leather. They're very nice. Um, the support is pretty good. They're definitely a different style than the first pair I ever got, which are just Everlast. These are much heavier, the Everlast are. They're a little longer too, so you get a little bit more wrist support further down, but the durability is way greater on these. Um, these will last two to four years, but it's not real leather, it's pleather. The padding is not nearly as good either. So these ones are if you're much more serious into sparring, if you're gonna be sparring a lot, punching heavy bags a lot, getting into the gym and actually training all the time. These are good if you're starting out, you're figuring out if you like sparring and fighting. They will give you a good idea. The price difference is quite dramatic, so if you want to just test something starting out, these Everlast MMA style are pretty good. Cup. I have the Venom. It's a heavy duty cup for fighting. Pretty much everything I have is Venom. I think they do a really good job for MMA and Muay Thai type equipment. So this is the cup that I have. It's got the hard plastic up front, then another layer. It's really well vented, and then it has this flexible gel. So that's really nice. It fits really good. It's really good for sparring. It locks in really well. So you don't have to worry about it going around or shifting while you're fighting. Um, uh, the shin guards that I have are Venom as well. These are larges. They fit me really well. The padding is excellent. They hold on pretty securely. They will save your shins, but also we do shin training without shin guards, and that's a lot of fun. Headgear is just a Venom basic headgear. It does really well. Most headgear is pretty similar from brand to brand. Um, the biggest thing is padding, durability, how long it'll last when you're training. I have the Venom Challenger mouth guard. I like it a lot. It's got this soft gel on the inside, which is what actually molds your teeth, and then it's harder outside. It'll definitely save your teeth. It comes in with a nice case and it's vented, so you don't have to worry about it. I also have an Athletico scuba diving bag for all my sparring gear. It has pockets on the ends down on both ends, so I can put my smaller stuff in there. Uh, the basic things I'd recommend if you are sparring good gloves 
they don't have to be really expensive or anything like that, but just good MMA gloves, good chin guards, good headgear, and good wraps. I would definitely recommend these over the normal wrap, but that's my preference. These are just so nice. And once you've tried those, compared to those, it's not even a comparison and a mouth guard and a good cup. So that's my setup.